Thanks, Sam. Hi, I'm Felipe. And I'm Ariana. Please join us in welcoming Mr. Yo-Yo Ma. I read that you started playing the cello when you were four years old. How did you get interested in the cello at such a young age? I wanted to play the double bass like there was no tomorrow because it was the biggest thing there was. But I couldn't play the double bass because it was too big and I wasn't big enough. So the next biggest instrument uh, was this. And for a four-year-old kid, that was good enough and I stayed with it. What attracts you to such a wide range of music? I got really interested in playing all different kinds of music because they're all different kinds of people. And I could get inside all those different kinds of people and figure out what they're feeling, what they're thinking. I thought that was a pretty cool thing to do. So that's why I keep doing it. And it never gets boring. How do your own children inspire and influence you in your work? I love children. And children are exhausting. But they also make me the happiest person in the world. Because it takes me back to when I was a child, when I discovered things for the first time. And I get to see that again in someone else. And it just, it's, it gives life meaning and joy and, and it's constant. What was the defining moment in your life that led you to identify as an innovator? You know, I don't think of myself as an innovator or an inventor. But guess what? We all do that naturally. Every single one of our lives, we are experimenting with. We are the experiment. And the way we lead our life from beginning to the end is one giant experiment that nobody else can make. Only you can make that. And you have a say in how you want that experiment to go. What does it mean to be a maker, both in terms of the arts and in social justice? You know, I love the word maker. Whether you're drawing, or telling a story, or painting, or creating a bowl, or making music, you're expressing something so someone else can look at it and say, oh, I get it. So that's communicating something, communicating a state of mind, communicating happiness. Social justice involves something very simple. It's treating someone else the way you would like to be treated. So if you do that, you're a peacemaker. What roles do imagination and invention play in your work? I think of all the music there is, it was all invented because someone could imagine it. And that's what making is all about. You use your imagination, you use your memory, and you use your curiosity to find out how to match it, change it. So it tastes good, it sounds good, it smells good, it looks beautiful. It takes imagination. Hi, I'm Ellie. Hi, I'm Stephanie. My sister and I were both first year violinists in high school. We are also makers. We've invented new toys and we created high-tech violin that lights up when you play. The interface was meant to help the deaf and hard of hearing enjoy music through visual representation using colored LED strips. We also started our own invention lab that focuses on creating innovative ways to combine music with engineering. Thank you, Mr. Ma, for inspiring us and so many others and for sharing your incredible talent and creativity with the world. We are honored to present you with the Kid Museum Maker Award for Cultural Innovation. A Maker Award for Cultural Innovation is, is is something I accept with deep pleasure and gratitude.
Because if you can make life good for somebody else, or for yourself, or both, that gives deep, deep happiness. So I thank you for the award. I'm so pleased. I'm very proud. So to all of you, keep making. You know what gives rise to imagination? Playfulness. Because when you're in play, different thoughts and ideas come together. So here's an idea, an example rather, of playfulness in music. Thank you for the amazing performance, Yo-Yo Ma, and thank you to Pam Melroy and Jose Andres for sharing your time, insight, and wisdom with us. You have made this a fete to remember, and most importantly, you've inspired us and our kids. <laughs>